Claudica. Yeah. Hello, today we're going to explain you a short massage for when you have stiffness in your shoulder. Yeah. Without pain. Yeah. No, I mean, because uh, when you have pain in the shoulder, first we need to know why we have pain. And then after we can decide to do the massage or not. So this uh, exercise I want to show is when you only have a little bit of stiffness shoulder because yesterday you did something involving uh, the shoulder, no? Yes, yeah. maybe you woke up uh, and you, because yeah, you slept wrong, position. but not too stiff. It cannot be frozen shoulder. We have no. a totally different massage for yes, frozen shoulder. It's very, very interesting. Tensions. But this one is for tensions. In the shoulder, in the area yeah. of the, uh, the standing trapezius. Okay, so let's start. Let's do it. Look, you can turn this way. Look to the plant. So look, we want to here start with, of course, pressure. We want to do a cool pressure. So imagine I want to show this shoulder, but we do the same on both shoulders. So we want to start first with pressure on the area of the scapula. So we can go from the corner above the scapula all the way down to the corner below the scapula. And then we want to give pressure with the ball of the thumb using fingers to support. So you can use one hand on the shoulder and then you can do the massage, a coup pressure following the line of the scapula beside the bone of the scapula. So you want to massage those muscles relate to movement of the arm and these muscles like trapezius and rhomboids, major, minor, and then movement of the shoulder bone, the battle, scapulae. So we want to do this many times. We want to do the line of the scapula with a coup pressure using the ball of the thumb down and up three to five times. Then the next is about to massage this line of the standing trapezius, so this line of the shoulder. So we can do a coup pressure from the corner between neck and shoulder. The first pressure will be there, the second pressure one finger out, and the third pressure another finger out. So we can use the fingers to support and we call this position of thumbs twin thumbs. So we want to press with the ball of the thumbs using fingers to support and then we want to make sure that we press always not near the collarbone. So you press the first pressure on the corner between neck and shoulder, then one finger out. We can press 5 to 10 seconds the second pressure one finger out of the second pressure, we can do the third acupressure point on the shoulder, on the descending trapezius line, then we go back to two, and then we go back to one. So we can follow to do these points the same as a scapula, three to five times. And then after, I want to give some stretching. So I want to get the arm of the customer into 45 degrees from the elbow, more or less. Be careful, please. If I do this uh, arm, if I do this uh, shoulder, this arm, I want to use my opposite arm to be cop my hand on the, la on the elbow, on the elbow joint, and the hand of the customer will rest on my elbow. And then I will use my other palm with using the heel of my hand beside the scapula, the scapula bone. I want to palm press one, two, three, going down, then two and one going up and at the same time I want to pull with this hand cup on the elbow I want to pull backward 50% so 50% I press on beside the scapula with the heel of the hand and 50% I pull back with the hand cup on the elbow so we can start on the upper part and then I press and I pull back 50-50 be careful with that do that slowly and soft in the beginning and then 5 to 10 seconds we keep the pressure and the stretching not hard but soft then we go below we do the same release then we go a little bit below shorter steps soft don't give pressure on the vertebra don't give pressure on the bone of the scapula back to two we stretch slowly and we keep the stretching for 5 to 10 seconds depending on physical condition and then one and release and after that we can place so release the hand copying the elbow and we place the hand of the customer on the neck and now I want to use one hand to support on the hand on the neck and another hand from the elbow I want to pull backwards so I want to pull 
to stretch this front of the deltoid muscle, a muscle from the shoulder, soft, release, then a little bit harder, slowly, release, and then again, soft. And then I can get the hand out of the neck and I can shake a little bit the arm and then I can release down. So after, of course, we need to do the other shoulder with the same exercise. So, how do you feel? <laughs> nice! <laughs> I want to have both, nice. both sides, <laughs> yeah. but it already feels more... Uh... Yeah, yeah, it's stretching open. pressure, you know, something that helps to release tensions, no, on the fascia. When we talk about stress or lack of motion or repetitive motion, these three causes of tensions on joints. Yes, but uh, please be careful. If you don't know what yeah. you're doing, don't do it. And if you're not sure, uh, look at in, uh, contraindications. Yeah. Because we should not do this with people who have the popping out arms. No, of yeah. course not. <laughs> we always need to check with physios or doctors, yeah. no? and then after that they will decide no? if you can get massage to help to improve the problem. Yes, but if you know what you're doing, try it. It feels really open, yeah. nice. Yeah. Yes, so, so hope you have no tensions anymore in your shoulder. Yeah. And, um, we hope to see you on the next video. Yes. Salve. Salve. Salve.